A broken water main creates a geyser erupting for several hours on Detroit's west side. Thank you for joining us here at 5. I'm Brian Abel. And I'm Glenda Lewis. The city water department getting that call around 9 this morning to respond to Stanley Street. That's near 94 and Rosa Parks. Neighbors tell us it started as a small bubble around midnight and continued to grow. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham shows us the plan to fix the problem. Water continues to bubble up out of a broken main here on Detroit's west side, but this is tame compared to the scene this morning. Yes, I normally come this way, but uh, when I saw the water gushing, I, I thought about, I didn't want to pass up a car wash, but then on second thought, I didn't want to be the victim of a sinkhole. <laughs> Wise thinking. However, every now and then, instead of turning around, some drivers still attempted to go down Stanley Street to pass by a geyser erupting from a broken water main. I received a tip about this discharge this morning and decided to check it out for myself. I've learned as water flows from larger transmission lines to smaller distribution lines to smaller service lines. The pressure is going to be greater and of course you're going to get a higher geyser. Gary Brown, director of the Water and Sewage Department, tells 7 Action News three to five water main breaks happen every single day in the city, largely due to changes in temperature, which affect pipes, shifting pipes that are aging. Brown says that's where the need to prioritize repairs come in. Certainly take into consideration if it's near a school, a hospital, a senior citizens complex, uh, they get the, the highest priority. Uh, but most importantly, we uh, always deal with the ones in which uh, people are out of water. This break is next to fields of grass and trees and some abandoned properties, as well as a D-dot bus garage. A crew came out around noon to isolate the break and relieve the pressure. The city says this break took priority because of the geyser, but repairing any break is a process. A lot of people think that uh, we can come out right away and, and stick a shovel in the ground or a backhoe and start digging, but we, we have to, safety is number one at DWSD, and we've got to get Miss Dig out, just like we ask our residents to do before you dig. you got to get this Miss Dig out. you got to get the markings uh, of where the utility lines are. We don't want any gas explosions or hitting in electrical lines. The city says no boil water advisory has been issued. However, after the water main is repaired, residents are advised to run their faucets for two to five minutes to remove any sediment that may have been stirred up as a result of the disruption. In Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.